Welcome to assignment number 11, business cards using Microsoft Publisher. As you can see on the screen, we're going to create a set of eight business cards that will be able to be cut up with a paper cutter and then distributed to your clients. Let's get started. I'm going to create a blank document with Microsoft Publisher. Now we're going to use just the standard 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. To create the business cards to be equal size, let's insert a table. And the table should be two squares wide by four squares tall. You can click the edge of the table to move it and then click the corner of the table to resize it. Now obviously these are all going to be identical so let's try to create one good model and then paste it into the other models. So first of all let's put in the title Crystal Pools. And let's press enter and put in your address. I'm going to say Max Smith is the president. Let's make some formatting changes. Let's go to Crystal Pools and let's go to the font size. First of all, let's make that larger. Pick a font that you think would be interesting for a pool. I like that one. And then let's leave the rest alone. Now copy and paste would work nicely for all of these items. So let's highlight the text. Right click somewhere and choose copy. You can then paste it in the other squares. You can paste more than one square. If you highlight two squares, copy them, paste your line here, and you have two. You can also copy four. So let's hop, highlight all four of them, choose copy, click, and paste. And so we have eight different business cards. The next thing I would like to do is create a logo or a background for each one of these cards. I'm going to use the wave that you saw on the earlier picture. I'm going to go to the shape tool that we would call the curve shape. A curve lets you create custom curves. Well, I'm going to start out at the edge of the card and the bottom of the wave is about here. And notice now that automatically it's like a rubber band or something stretchy. And when I click, I get these curves. Don't worry, if it doesn't come out exactly how you want it to look the first time, there's a nice way to adjust a curve, and that's what we'll look at now. I'm going to double click to end the curve. And the next item is to make it look better. So up here where it says Edit Shape, you can see that we have a, a place called Edit Points. And now, if your curve doesn't look quite right, those little dots are adjustable. As a matter of fact, they have to be adjusted almost all the time. Nobody draws a perfect curve the first time. And so you adjust these curves until you get something that looks like a wave. Now there are other ways that you can modify these points other than just dragging them around. If you right click on a curve and choose corner point, for instance, then you can actually force this to sh come to a sharp point. I'm going to click on this again, choose Edit Shape and Points. I'm going to right click on this. Instead of Auto Point, I'm going to do a Smooth Point. And now there are little handles that allow you to adjust this curve so that the line is fairly smooth. Stretch the line, bring the line closer together, you experiment and you will create the effect you want. Let's right click on this one and see what a straight point looks like. A straight point allows you to adjust one side and the other. So experiment with your points. Now I'm going to change this to a blue color and add some weight to the line. Now it's covering up all my words. That's bad. I'm going to right click on it and uh, I want to send it to the back. So I go to order and choose send to back. And now it's actually behind the text. Now let's go to the um, uh, command for copying this and then paste it. You can adjust the 
picture so that it's about the same height as the other. Paste again and repeat. Okay, now I have all of my waves copied and pasted, but once more that they are overlapping some of the text. So let's click on the table, and this time I want to bring this table to the front. So I'm going to click the option for bring to front, and now the text, as you can see from here, and all of the phone numbers is in front of the wave. One more thing that we do, usually when we print business cards, is we print them on heavy paper. So watch what happens when I try to print this time. I'm going to File and Print. In my printer, I have options for changing the printer paper. So I'm going to click Printer Properties. Your printer might be different, but I'm going to find out what my options are. So I'm going to go to Paper Quality and choose Advanced, and I'm looking for Paper Weight. And down here I have an item called Media Weight. It says Use Printer Setting. Well, you can use the printer setting that's at your control panel on your printer, or you can select one from here. I'm going to choose the heaviest printer possible, the heaviest paper possible. Click OK, and click OK. And now, when I print, it will pull through the rollers with a little bit slower pace, and it will be able to handle heavier card stock. Good luck with your business cards and getting new customers.